Kevin Fixler here for laxworld.com. Here at our location in Denver, Colorado, I'm going to be teaching you how to hold a lacrosse stick. So the materials that you'll need are a complete lacrosse stick. Here we have an offensive size one. And an optional material would be a roll of athletic tape. So there's really three positions to hold a lacrosse stick. First, there's the catching spot and cradle, which is basically the same thing. You have your passing, where you're going to throw the ball from how you're gonna hold it there, and then also your shooting, which sometimes is where you also pass with, but sometimes in order to get a little bit more torque, people like to put their hands a little bit more depending on whether they're shooting a, a sidearm shot or a three quarters or an overhand. So some people, what they like to do is actually take a piece of tape, especially in the learning process for your beginner or intermediate level players, and you'll even see some of the advanced players use this. So that way it makes, so they don't have to think about where they put their hands. So all they do is they just take a small piece of tape and if I'm going to be catching the ball about right there, gauge where my thumb's at, and then I'm just going to throw this old piece of tape here right there. And that way, if I move from catching the ball, catch it from my teammate, and then move to make a pass myself, all I do is just drop my hand. I don't even have to look. Okay? And again, shooting generally is either here or lower above the midline here, which is where I shoot the ball, and then also where I catch it up high. And that's how you hold a lacrosse stick.